Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to be talk, taking you through a developer journey that features the IBM Watson Visual Recognition Service. This journey is available on GitHub at github.com slash IBM slash Watson Multimedia Analyzer. This journey uses quite a few Watson services uh, besides visual recognition. It uses Watson Natural Language Understanding, Watson Speech to Text, Watson Tone Analyzer, and Cloud NoSQL database. If you look through the README, you can get all the details on how to set up the services, and once they're created, you just need to add the credentials to the local.env file, uh, and you're ready to start enriching your own media files. Uh, this journey actually consists of two apps. One is a server app which communicates with the Watson services and renders a UI, and the other app handles the enrichment of uh, multimedia files. So both apps are written in Node.js, um, and let's start with the data enrichment app, which is located in the bin directory and is named process media. So what does enrichment do? Let's take a look at the architecture diagram. Uh, it gives a good overview of the entire enrichment process. Uh, step one, an MP4 video file is passed in the, into the process media app. Uh, step two, the Watson speech text uh, service converts all of the video speech into text. Um, during this process, the text is broken into scenes. Um, the length of each of these scenes is configurable and can be based on a timer, a change in who is speaking, or a pause in speech. Step three, the Watson uh, Natural Language Understanding Service pulls out keywords, entities, concepts, and taxonomy or um, classifications for each of the scenes. Step four, the Watson Tone Analyzer Service uh, extracts top emotions and social and writing tones for each scene. Uh, step five, the Watson Visual Recognition uh, Service, or VR, uh, takes a screenshot every 10 seconds uh, within the scene and creates what we call a moment. So each moment is then processed where the VR uh, extracts out classifications, faces, and words. Step six, all the scenes and moments are stored in the Cloudant uh, NoSQL database, um, which can be viewed by through the browser pointing to the UI app. So as I just mentioned, to enrich a file, uh, you need to run the process media CLI located in the bin directory. For example, here's the command I use to enrich the sample MP4 video entitled Grid Breakers. Uh, this is a sample app which we provide in the repo and it's in the public media files directory. Um, the command uses uh, dash s, which means use speech to text, dash v means use visual recognition, and dash f just means use this, this file to enrich, or enrich this file. Uh, so once you have that file enriched, we can take a look at it in the UI, which I'll show you now, but you can see I'm running locally. Um, so this is a UI. Uh, on the left side is all the loaded media files. In this case, it's just the one file we just enriched. If you select it, uh, the video is loaded and starts playing. Um, below the video, these are time sequences. Time sequences, and remember, um, well, this is each of the scenes. And remember, for each scene, um, each of the Watson services performs some analysis. Um, so all the fields, uh, listed below the video have to do with text. It starts with transcript, uh, which is where the speech to text service converts any speech to uh, in, from the scene into text. Let's go down here. Tone. Here the tone analyzer service uses the text to pull out the tones, uh, such as uh, fear. Whoops. We're moving along too quickly here. Let's stop it. So the tone here is joy, anger, sadness, etc. Um, Natural language, uh, language Understanding Service provides the rest of the data. Pulls out categories. 
These are all sorted by relevance. Keywords, entities, concepts. These are all text-related um, analysis. And again, everything is sorted by relevance. Um, in the top right section, uh, this is where we we show the visual recognition analysis. Uh, here we see the current scene um, plus the current moment. So remember, for each scene, uh, VR takes a snapshot every 10 seconds and refers to that as a moment. So here we can see the moment data. Um, here it's frozen, so it's not going to move, but we're looking currently uh, at this screenshot. Let's take a look here. As you can see, the classifications, nature, valley, gorge, chasm, gray, all relevant. Um, under faces, um, it tries to determine uh, the gender and age of the person shown. Um, let me see if I can find one. I think we have a, a face at moment 70. I could show that. So here you can see that it's found a male between the age of 35 and 44. Um, if this person was famous, it would it would show that name here. Uh, the coordinates listed are where this person's face is located within the screenshot. Um, under words, uh, this would show any words that are visually being displayed. I think we have some at the beginning of the video. As you can see here, it, it picked up on those words shown in the title. So you can also click on this menu here. and bring up the textual enrichments for the entire video. So not related to any scene or moment. So the overall tone of this video was fear. Uh, the main category was sports running and jogging. And of course it's going to pull out all the top entities, keywords, and, and concepts. So with that, I'll, I think I'll wrap up this demo. Uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to download and run this journey on your own. Thanks again for your time.